mm-hmm. then as I got to know him, you, you figure out that he's not as naive or whatever as he might come across. You know, he he knows the game, but he's still that nice guy from Lincoln, Nebraska, underneath all of it, and that's kind of an interesting contradiction. It never is. It Hey, y'all, how you doing? Well, thanks for coming out tonight. I suppose you know you're being filmed. And just be glad you don't have the lights on you that I have on me. Try not to let the cameras throw you. Try not to throw the cameras. Even though Matthew is touring to promote his new music, the audience first wants to hear some of the songs from his first hit album, Girlfriend. Girlfriend was done uh, when Matthew was going through a divorce. And Divine Intervention is one of the songs on that record that really reflects that. People haven't always picked up all the aspects of the lyrics. They'll either say, the mu- your music's so happy, but if you really concentrate on the lyrics, they're very depressing, you know. He's got a real dark view of the world. And Divine Intervention is one of those songs that, you listen to that, that is not a cheery little number. But he puts it in this pop form, and you think, oh, this is a nice little song, and then you listen to the words, and it's like, oh. <laughs> Matthew's ironic lyrics, there was no divine intervention to save his first marriage. His pain and loneliness haunt the lyrics. He sings, I don't know where I'm going to live. I don't know if I'll find a place. He was clearly waiting for something.
when Matthew and I first started seeing each other, I was still living in Lincoln, and he was living in New Jersey. And he sent me my first demo tape. And um, I remember listening to that song under headphones and dreaming of being with Matthew. And then it happened. So. I woke up in the early one morning, and I made up the whole thing, like, right at once, really fast. I made a demo of it, like, right then. Any good writer, first thing you learn in creative writing 101 is write about what you know. Write about your experience. And what he's doing and is taking that experience and the feelings that he has and not writing explicitly about it, but using that as the springboard. And that I've been waiting is, you know, I finally found somebody after this year or two years that were not pleasant. It's really a love song, yeah. That's really, like, as close to um, taken right out of my own situation, you know. Um, she would wear my clothes. Like it says in the song, you can wear my clothes, which is, I think people in relationships love that. Yes. It was very meaningful. You know, that was early on in our relationship, and so every song was very special to me. And the fact that I had something to do with it was, you know, it was a great feeling. It still is a great feeling. Mm-hmm.